بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله ثم الحمد لله الحمد لله عدد ما في السماوات والأرض ونحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به عز وجل ونتوكل عليه ونستحيه ونعوذ بالله تعالى من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهدي الله فهو المهتد ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله الأحد الصمد الذي لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد ونشهد أن حبيبنا محمدا عبده ورسوله صفيه وخليله بلغ الرسالة وأدى الأمانة ونسح الأمة وجاهد في سبيل الله عز وجل وعبد ربه تعالى حتى أتاه اليقين صلوات الله وسلامه عليه وعلى آله الذين أذهبوا الله عنهم الرسى وتخيرهم تطهيرا ورضي عن صحباته الراشدين ورحمته على تابعين لهم بخير وإحسان إلى يوم الدين وأما بعد عباد الله أوصيكم ونفسي أولا بتقوى الله عز وجل فيقول الله سبحانه وتعالى يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون فقال حبيب الله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم عليكم بتقوى الله وسعم والطاعة Brothers and sisters in Islam We praise and thank our Lord Allah Azza wa Jal Due to the measure of everything that is in within the heavens and the earth We seek his assistance, we seek his forgiveness We believe in him mighty and sublime is he We place the trust of all of our affairs with him Azza wa Jal And we seek his guidance and we seek refuge with him from the mischief that is within self, inside of ourselves and from the sins that we commit. He who Allah guides, most certainly he is the rightly guided one. And he who he allows to go astray, there is none who can guide this person aright. We openly bear witness that there is nothing worthy of worship except for Allah, who is unique, absolute, eternal. He who gave birth to none, nor was he given birth to, and there was nothing like him. And we bear witness that our beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam is Allah's slave servant and messenger, his close friend. He, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam, who conveyed the message and he fulfilled his amana, his trust. And he advised the ummah. And he strove in the path of Allah Azza wa Jal. And he worshipped his Lord, the Most High, perfectly till his very last breath. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam. I advise you as well as myself, dear believers, to have taqwa for Allah Azza wa Jal. To have reverence for Him. Have taqwa for Allah as He rightfully deserves. And do not die except in a full, complete uh, state of submission. Stick to having taqwa for Allah. And hear and obey. Hear and obey. As the Prophet's of Allah Azza wa Jal, all of them and their righteous followers they all said the same thing Samitna wa atatna. when they were commanded by God to do something they said we hear and we obey we hear and we obey we are in a month in which Muslims all throughout the world the month of Rabi'l Awal, 
where Muslims are paying closer attention. Based upon this is the month of the birth of the best of creation, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam. Tasliman kathira. And I'd like to mention a few things, brothers and sisters in Islam, why this unique personality should be the focal point of our lives every day of the week, every month, in every year of our lives. He should be the focal point. He, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam, the Prophet of Mercy said in an authentic tradition, لا يؤمن أحبكم حتى أكون أحب إليه من ولاده وولاده وناسي أجمعين. He said, none of you are a true believer until I am more loved to him than to his own self and his father his child, and all of the people. He said that if we are to reach full Iman, he said that we have to love him, Nabi Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, more than ourselves. Meaning our own desires, our own cravings, and our parents and our children and all of the people. That we should seek not to conform Islam to our desires, but to conform our Islam to that which Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam loved, and what he commanded, and what he did. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam was described in the Quran وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا كَافَةٍ لِلنَّاسِ بَشِيرًا وَنَاذِرًا وَلَكِنَّ أَكْثَرَ النَّاسِ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ That he was sent Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam but to be sufficient, to be enough for all of the people. As a bringer of good news and as a warner, though most people understand not. Good news! For those who believe in a power higher than themselves. Good news that this life is not something that is meaningless about making money and fulfilling our physical cravings and desires. Good news that there is a God and he is one. And if we believe in him and place our trust in him, that he will fulfill our needs in this life and give us eternal bliss in the hereafter. This is the good news that Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam brought. It is said through his mouth that Allah Azza wa Jal said in a hadith Qudsi, the sacred hadith, لا إله إلا الله حسني ومن دخل حسني أمنا من عذابي. There is no God but one God. This saying, Allah says, is my fortress. It is my protection. Hisni. It is my protection. It is my fortress. And whoever enters into my fortress, then he will be safe from my punishment. The good news given by our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi if we place the trust of our affairs based upon our belief in the Almighty God. He sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam said as the wisdom of his sayings, his ahadith brings good news and guidance for the believer, but it is a warning or the disbeliever. His sayings have two shades. Good news and guidance for those who believe and follow and a warning of consequences for those who reject. 
in an authentic, in an authentic Sahih tradition, he Habibullah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam said, "At dunya sijnu mu'min wa jannatu kafir." At dunya sijnu mu'min wa jannatu kafir. This world is a prison for the believer. But it is a paradise for the disbeliever. All of those people who seek to fulfill their desires with no concern for Allah, this is their jannah because they have no faith or no belief in the hereafter, so they try to enjoy all of everything in this dunya unrestricted because this is their jannah. But for the believer, Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam said, this dunya is a prison because this dunya, there is in it restriction and the soul of the believer is always yearning towards seeking the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the desire of the believer. This is why he, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam said, in a hadith hasan, tuhfatul mu'min al-mawt. Tuhfatul mu'min al-mawt. The gift of the believer is death. Why? Because we have to die in this life so that we can live in the next, inshallah, with the desire of getting our reward with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as he said in the Quran, فَدُخُلِي فِي عِبَادِي وَدُخُلِي جَنَّتِي When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say to his believers, those who believe in him and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alayhi wa sallam, Enter you, O my servant, enter you, O into my paradise. The message of hope that the believer has something beyond this temporal existence, this physicality, as promised to us in the Quran and through the authentic teachings of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam. He Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam taught us not just to strive for the hereafter, giving up worldly things, but in the worldly matters, we should seek to do them within a particular framework and parameters, and that we seek to do these things in excellence. In a hadith of Hassan, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alayhi wa sallam said, Man istawa yomahu fahuwa maqboon. Maqboon. Whoever makes his two days equal, meaning whoever makes his today equal to his yesterday, he's duped. He's fooled. Meaning he's fooled himself. The message of Islam taught by Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alayhi wa sallam is that our, us in, in our personality, in our conduct, in our knowledge, we should be striving every day to improve ourselves. We shouldn't be satisfied with yesterday. We shouldn't be satisfied with our own status quo as individuals as, or as a community. We should strive to improve on a daily basis. And another hadith Hassan Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam said, Inna Allah yuhibbu idha ahadakum amilan amilan an yatqanuhu. Yatqanuhu. He said, surely God, surely Allah loves that whenever any of you does an act, that he strives to perfect it. When any of you does any endeavor, any amal, any matters in this dunya that we should do, we should seek to get better and better and better on a daily basis. It is not the teachings of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam 
to be satisfied with, me with, with, with mediocrity. He taught us to be the best in everything. And this was revealed to him by his Lord, our Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he said in the Quran, Kuntum khayru ummatin ukhrijat li nasi ta'munu bil mahroof wa tawhawna anu munkar wa tukminuna billah. You are the best ummah, you are the best nation evolved for people because you enjoin the proven excellent standards. You prohibited that which is despicable and against excellence and you believe in the oneness of Allah The teachings of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam taslim and kathira. The Quran also mentions him brothers and sisters. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ he, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alayhi wa sallam, was sent but to be a mercy for all of the worlds, for all systems of knowledge, for the Arab as well as the non-Arab, for the black as well as the red and the white, for the old as well as the young, for the male and for the female, even for the male or the human and the jinn. He was sent to be a mercy for all of the world, Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam. An example of his mercy, if you read the authentic traditions in Sirah, he was so merciful that even in pain, excruciating pain, even on his deathbed, He exhibited this mercy and this compassion for other people's emotions and feelings. One of the leaders of the women of the world, his daughter, Fatima Azahra, this story is narrated on the account of Umm Inin Aisha. Fatima Zahra came to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alayhi wa sallam when he was on his deathbed. And she came to her father and she became distraught. He, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alayhi wa sallam, said to Fatima, Laysa ala abiki karb. Ba'da yawm, ya Fatima. There will be no affliction and hardship upon your father after this day, O oh my beloved Fatima. Fatima Zahra, the beloved of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alayhi wa sallam, began to cry. And what did he say? He consoled his daughter. He didn't want her going through any difficulty or any pain. He said to Fatima, La tabki, ya binya. La tabki. La tabki. Don't cry, my beloved daughter. Don't cry. Don't cry. And he consoled her. Look at this personality. Most human beings, if they're on their deathbed, they're more worried about themselves and their own pain. He was worried about the feelings of his beloved and his ummah. Even on the day of judgment, it said in the authentic tradition, when you or me, when we go in front of our Lord, we're going to say, nefsi, nefsi. Oh my soul, oh my soul, we're going to be selfish on that day. But the prophet of mercy, sallallahu alayhi wa ala alayhi wa sallam, he's going to say, ummati, 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 ummati. My nation, my nation, my people, my people. In which he will seek to intercede to give shifa, to seek to intercede upon those who loved him. Upon those who sent salawat upon him. Upon those who followed him. 
upon those who believed in him the mercy that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has extended wasila has extended through Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam we should thank Allah for him not just on Rabi'ul Awal but all throughout the year we should remember his characteristics we should remember what he means to us because we would be in total darkness and ignorance and lack of guidance without his example as the little youth of the Ansar saying Tara'al Badru Alayna he is a moon that rose over us what is the moon when it's totally dark outside and think about the time of El Ansar no street lights no flashlights no lights on cars. Total darkness. And it's only the light of the moon that gives you any light in this time of darkness. He is our light. Against the darkness of Kuf. He is our light. Against the darkness of Jahl. Of ignorance. It is he, Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. His example is the salvation for us. For success in this life and the success of hereafter. And we should remember him and love him as he told us to do. None of you truly believes until he has more love for me than he has for himself, for his father, his children, and all of the people. Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam tasleema kathira aqulu kali hadha istaghfirah. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الذي ليس كمثله شيء أفضل الصلاة وأتم التسليم على سيدنا وحبيبنا ومولانا محمد الأمين وعلى آله الطاهرين وأصحابه المخلصين ومجاهدنا في سبيل الله أجمعين وأما بعد Dear brothers and sisters in faith, in Islam, out of all of the personalities that we see in human history, both in the past as well as contemporary, there is no man who has been written about as much as Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam. We should know more about his life than any other personality, any president of any country, any political figure, any commercial personality, any athlete, youth, some of you know the statistics of all of the football players that are going to be playing on the Super Bowl this upcoming Sunday. Do you know the statistics of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam? Do you know that? Do you know about his Ahlul Bayt, his family members, and how he interacted with them? Do you know about his friends, his Sahaba, who he interacted with? Do you know those righteous Muslims who followed him in excellence the generation after him? These are the type of statistics that are going to help give us success in our lives. The most important things that we should know. And I recommend to you as well as myself that every day we should try to read something about the life of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam even if it's only one hadith a day. How much time does that take? Turn off the TV and take 15 minutes to read a single hadith and contemplate it. It won't take you a minute to read it and sit back and ponder that hadith. If we love Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, we have to follow his direction, his example. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Kul. إن كنتم تحبون الله فتابعوني فتابعوني 
say, O oh Muhammad, tell the people, if you love Allah, then follow me. Yuhbikumullah. Then God will love you. Then Allah will love you. Then he will forgive you of your sins. Allah will love you more. And he will forgive you of your sins. He is the off forgiver of the sins, the merciful redeemer. Allahu Azza wa Jal. Conditional statement though. Allah who Azza wa Jal loves us more the more we love and follow Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. This is a condition. Atihullah wa Rasul. Inna Allah la yuhibbul kafirin. <coughs> Obey Allah and the Messenger, and surely Allah does not love those who reject faith. And our faith is that we follow our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam. Inna Allah wa malaikatuhu yasalluna ala al-Nabi. Ya ayyuhaladina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallamu taslima Allahumma salli ala muhammadin wa ala ala muhammad Kama salli ala ibrahim wa ala ala ibrahim Wa salli alayna ma'ahum inna hamidu majid Allahumma barak ala muhammadin wa ala ala muhammad Kama barakta ala ibrahim wa ala ala ibrahim Wa barak alayna ma'ahum inna hamidu majid Allahumma salli ala muhammadin abdika wa rasulik Wa salli ala al-mu'minina mu'minat Wa muslimina muslimat اللهم اكفل للمؤمنين المؤمنات ومسلمين مسلمات أحياء منهم وأموات ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار رب اللهم إن نسألك جنة ونعوذ بك من النار اللهم عز الإسلام ومسلمين اللهم عز الإسلام ومسلمين اللهم عز الإسلام ومسلمين اللهم أصلح أمة محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم اللهم فرج عن أمة محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم اللهم ارحم أمة محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم اللهم سو إخواننا في فلسطين اللهم سو إخواننا في فلسطين اللهم سو إخواننا في فلسطين ويمن وكشمير اللهم سو إخواننا مجاهدين في سبيلك في كل مكان برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين أقيم الصلاة